In this video I'm going to show you 10 awesome tricks with shaving foam that you should definitely know. Let's get straight to trick number one. Do you also have pants that no longer look really nice and clean from the bottom? This one is not that dirty now, but especially on the outer edge you can clearly see here that it's very discolored. In these little holes and also on the silver surface. You just have to spray that with some shaving foam. Then spread that on it a little bit and when you've done that set the pan aside and now let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. When the time is up you take a damp cloth and wipe off all the shaving foam from the pan. In case of very heavy soiling you may have to rub a little more or perhaps use another cloth. In most cases most of the dirt should be already removed. Be sure to try this trick once. Then we come to trick number two. After painting you often have paint still stick somewhere, for example on the hands. Usually this is not so easy to get off with conventional soap, but shaving foam can help you here too. To do this take some shaving foam, apply it to the spot where the paint is and wash your hands with the shaving foam. Because of the ingredients of the shaving foam the color should come off quite easily from your palm. Then rinse again under water and possibly wash again with soap normally and then the color on the hand or skin should be completely gone as you can see here. Trick number 3 is about the mirror, because surely you know that. You go to shower, then come out of the shower and the mirror is completely fogged. Shaving foam can help here as well. All you have to do is wipe your mirror with the shaving foam. That means I put some shaving foam, it doesn't have to be that much, on a cloth. I took a microfiber cloth here and wipe it once over the entire mirror so that the whole mirror is covered with shaving foam. Then I wipe the whole thing again. This actually works completely streak free, so you don't need extra water. And so you can clean your mirror once completely with shaving foam and then a small protective film has been put on it, which ensures that the mirror can no longer fog up. Number 4 is about stainless steel surfaces, because you can also clean these really wonderfully simply with shaving foam. I have taken the sink here. You can already see that it is really dirty and we also find stains here on the sink. Here you can put some shaving foam on it. Distribute the whole thing so that there is also really everywhere something of the shaving foam. And then first of all let it act a little bit. 20 to 30 minutes should be completely sufficient here. When the time is over then we just have to rinse it off. Take for it the water tap or a damp cloth until eventually the complete shaving foam is gone again. After that you should be able to see that there are no more stains and so on. Now the sink can shine in new splendor and all this only thanks to a little shaving foam. And this works in general also on all stainless steel surfaces. This means that you can now also clean the outside of the oven for example, if there are stainless steel surfaces on it. It also works in the bathroom on the faucets for example. You can really do it anywhere you find stainless steel surfaces. Just put some shaving foam on it, wait a short time, wipe it off and it's clean again. Do you have a door that squeaks when you open or close it? Then the hinge is usually to blame, but to fix it you can actually use some shaving foam. You simply smear the hinge with it. After that you just have to wipe off the shaving foam or the excess shaving foam. I have now taken a normal cloth, wipe it once and then the door no longer squeaks and all thanks to a little shaving foam. For trick number 7 we take care of old jewelry. Because after some time it is usually very dirty or no longer shines as beautifully. But even this little problem can be solved with a little shaving foam. For this you take a bowl, put some shaving foam in it, 
You do not have to take as much as I do now, that's just so it's better to see in the video. A small amount is really enough. You can then put your jewelry in there now and it's just a matter of the jewelry being completely submerged in the shaving foam at the end. That is, I still put something on top, then work it in a bit so that you really have shaving foam everywhere on the jewelry now. Now it has to soak in a bit about 20 to 40 minutes depending on how dirty your jewelry is. After that take an old toothbrush and wipe the jewelry again. Put on gloves otherwise you will quickly have dirty fingers. Now you go over the entire jewelry again with the toothbrush and then you can usually see that thumb dirt is loosened here. Then rinse again under water or put in a bowl with water so that now also the remains of shaving foam are removed from the jewelry. Then dab again with a cloth and then you can see that the jewelry now shines much more and looks much nicer than before. So if you have old jewelry then clean it once with shaving foam. Shaving foam has a similarly good cleaning effect on a carpet. If you have stains on it you can also remove them with a little shaving foam. To do this apply the shaving foam to the carpet and then let it act a little. I have a short pile carpet. I take a towel to press the de shaving foam a little flat so that the shaving foam goes everywhere in the fibers. If you have a long pile carpet you can massage the shaving foam in by hand. Once you've done that then you need to wait a bit. It's best to leave it on overnight. After that take a brush like this and rub over the stain. Because now we make sure that we get the rest of the shaving foam out of the carpet and therefore also the rest of the dirt that is still in the carpet. If there is still some shaving foam left, vacuum it away with the vacuum cleaner. After that you can see that the carpet looks like new again. For trick number 9 I show you how to clean your hairbrush with shaving foam. If there are hairs in it like here you have to get rid of them first. The best way to do this is with nail scissors. You can simply cut the hairs and then pull them off easily. The last finer hairs you can then get with a comb from the brush. Comb through the brush and get the remaining hairs out. Now there is still a lot of dirt in the brush and you can get it out with shaving foam. To do this take some of the shaving foam, spray it on the brush and then let it act a little. Now you can do this with your hands or like I did here with a comb. At the end the shaving foam should be distributed everywhere. When you have done this and the whole brush is coated with shaving foam then you should put the brush aside once and wait about 20 to 30 minutes. After the waiting time is over you can rinse the brush under clean water. Because this will get the shaving foam out of the brush now and also all the dirt. After that the brush really looks like new. And all this only thanks to a little shaving foam. Therefore be sure to try this out once. And then we come to our last trick. This one is for the eyeglasses. You surely know it, the glasses fog up while you have the mask on or when you go from cold to warm or vice versa. This can also be prevented with shaving foam. For that you take some shaving foam. I have now also taken an eyeglass cleaning cloth. Which is of course practically suitable for this. Here you put only a very small blob of shaving foam on it and now wipe your glasses with it. This also comes off streak free which means you don't have to worry that you will have streaks on your glasses afterwards. You should rinse and dry your glasses beforehand so that you don't get any dust particles on them. Then rub the shaving foam all over the glasses until they are streak free. After that the glasses should no longer fog up simply because the shaving foam similar to the mirror at the beginning of the video puts a small protective film on the glasses and prevents them from fogging up. And that's all the cleaning tricks with the shaving foam. 
If you know any other, feel free to post them in the comments. If you liked the video, then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.